Hello guys, uh, in this video we will try to do data exploratory analysis for a wine company which is Fino Verde based in Portugal and this is the website where we can find which kind of wines they are selling but mainly we will check for two types of wine which is red and white and this is the Wikipedia page where they mention the origin of the wine All uh, here we can check from which province the origin so it is called Mino and this is based on the north of Portugal. Alright, so before doing data analysis we will try to get all the data loaded into our Google Colab environment. And if you do not know about Google Colab, please check out googlelab.research.google.com and we have in this case a data dictionary which is basically the information about what kind of data we have so here they say that source and you can see that this has been researched by university of mino from the province mino of north portugal and they have done it in the year 2009 they also said like few of the things like which kind of data we have and also the variants of red and white wine also like physiochemical physicochemical properties which they have they also mentioned that also they say that there is outlet detection algorithms which could be used to detect few excellent or poor wines and they gave the number of instances and the attributes or features. Okay, uh, so apparently there is no missing attribute values, but still we would try to check whether there are any or not. So we just loaded all the datasets first and try to combine the red and wine data set together into a combined data set called wine so we gave a wrong function it should be is null dot sum so we can check each of the features whether they contain null values or not and we see that it's all zero so we also provide inference like there is no null values in it now we try to visualize a plot and before that we would check whether we have a skewed distribution or not we talked about uh, the basic statistics about positively skewed and negatively skewed distribution so we will try to do the same whether any of the features are positive or negative so we can see that uh, most of the features are positively distributed so we can also check one of these like fixed acidity in this case and also we make this inference as usual So when we check for the fixed acidity, we check that it is definitely positively skewed distribution and we change the beans number so that it looks more granular and also we want to get rid of this line which shows the memory address. So now we can check that it is positively skewed distribution and there are only one negatively skewed distribution which is the total sulfur dioxide so we now try to plot that one as well and it shows that it is slightly negatively distributed all right so now we would 
move on to our next plot where we'll try to compare the quality and types of wine so first of all we have to check that how would you like to proceed so as you can see there are four subplots so it is one comma four that means one row and four columns and the ax1 is the first subplot in this arrangement that's why we mentioned one four one so these are basically all the parameters and then we try to subset our data frame to get the proper value which we want to plot because we can see this is a bar plot so we have to check how to get the value counts of each quality so we check which kind of columns we have so just putting data frame name and dot columns here we have to check that uh, we can check wines dot quality but when there is a space in between the column name then we cannot use this dot operator then we have to use the square bracket and the proper format of choosing the column so this is very important otherwise we would get error so here also we have used wines quality we could also use wines within square bracket quality so it doesn't matter just to let you know this set y limit is important because it says that what is the range of the y-axis so i set it to 0 to 2500 for quality so we would uh, go through this detail like how each of the axis or each of the axes has been built not axis so first i will try to run the base code and let's see whether it works or not so it says some error so it says there is no attribute type so we have to be very careful because we are using someone else's code in this scenario or not our code so i have to check whether the data which i am using is the same data from the data frame column names so we can check that yeah their wine type we have mentioned also with a y not ein and also uh, we can try to combine all of this code into one cell because they are basically combining the red and wine data set so I just copy paste every small codes into one cell and execute all together so that I don't have to change every time or run every cell one by one so here we have changed the type and let's try to now uh, focus on only one of these bar plot which is white wine in this case and let's see okay so here we also tried to change the y limit to 2500 for other two plots and let's see what happens so we can see this white wine the medium quality is out of the box so that's why you have to choose this y limit very carefully so that we can see the bar plot fully otherwise it will be cut on top or all right so now we would check only the white type wine and one of this bar, bar plot which is basically the second one in this case and so we are first subsetting the data set and taking only the values which matches wine type wine type equals white and we can see this is the value counts and now i am trying to convert into two list so that i can have x axis as the quality and the value counts as the y axis so if i try to do that i implement two list this is how basically i would put the list 
and now check what it looks like so it has been con transformed into two list one is the index which is basically the zero at one the quality level and the second one is basically the first one which is the value counts of each quality so that is how the bar plot works so i give the first x-axis which is the index or the quality and the y-axis which is the value counts of each quality okay and we provide other information like which color i want i chose white and red just to have similarity with the type of wines but you can choose your own color right so that's more or less how we do the plot so you are encouraged to check more and thanks for watching